What's up guys, it's your boy Cheekley, and welcome to Cheekley Chat. It has been a long time since I posted a video, and I thought that I will post a video on a review of a show that I saw a few days ago called The Band's Visit. So first of all, finally got that off my bucket list, I finally saw a Broadway show for the very first time. Not going to be the only one because I'm planning on seeing as many shows as I possibly can. So if you guys have any other suggestions, um, a lot of people suggested I watch Hamilton and Anastasia, but if you guys have any other suggestions that you guys want me to see, let me know down in the comments below and uh, let's just talk about this musical. This musical is called A Band's Visit and it takes place um, in Israel. There's this um, band and there's eight guys and they travel from Egypt to Israel. Um, and then they go somewhere else after they stayed in Israel to perform for this concert. So now that you kind of understand like what it's about, let me tell you what I think about it. Um, there's this main character and he's the conductor of the band. His name is Tafik. And, um, you know, he tries to get his um, men to play um, in his orchestra and he just, you know, brings them to Israel, try to find a place to stay for a night. And of course the other, you know, characters have their own dialogue and then like the other half the cast of the band just they play music. I'll get to those musicians later but there's also another character her name is Dina and she has this cafe and she has two other workers there and I don't remember their names. I would even pull it up on the playbill but like I just don't even like want to list out the wrong character's name on accident. There's these two other guys, and all three of them just, you know, welcomes all of them to stay at their places until the next morning to leave to perform at this concert. Basically, the story takes place all in one night, okay? And there was no intermission, so it was really great to kind of like have that kind of like thread through the entire show. Some of the things I enjoyed the most of this musical is hands down the music. Okay, like not the songs, but like the music that the musicians on stage are playing. Like there's this guy that plays a bongo, guy that plays a clarinet, guy that plays a trumpet, a guy that plays a violin and um, a cello. Like it's a really, really great group of musicians. And then of course, like a couple of these guys have dialogues and they even sing too. So you, it, the fact that you have to like sing, act and play a musical instrument for a show. That's that's another way of being a triple threat. That's awesome. And of course, there's a couple others that were like roller skates, so that was pretty cool. However, I wish that there were some like dance scenes that were like dance scenes. There wasn't really that much choreography at all. I mean, it's probably that type of show. But personally, for like some of those songs, like what was that one called? Let me look at this real quick. It's called The Beat of Your Heart, and it's like supposed to be a funny song, and it takes place like when this guy invites this one musician for dinner, and they all just start dancing for a little bit just for fun. And I wish they would have had like more choreography, um, because that would have been a potential one. Also, the number when they had the roller skate, I wish they would have had added more dance and choreography interpreted with that. Um, just to make it more energetic. But overall, you know, despite that, I thought that was pretty good. Um, another thing that I wish would have, you know, would improve would personally would be the dialogue, and especially in the beginning of the show. Like, don't get me wrong, there were some funny moments, but I felt like it's, it, of course, like a, like a dry comedy because of like the awkward silence in between lines. But I would just kind of like reduce that because it was just kind of like awkward and boring just having no dialogue and just people just like slowly walking place to place. I think that's why they were just like, like another example of just trying to make it like the actual Israel film fans visit into the musical, but um, that's just my opinion. But I did enjoy some of the characters' performances in general. I thought Tafik was a really great character. He was very um, professional. He seemed very uh, passionate of what he does, and he was just amazing. Dina, out of all the characters, I'm not going to list out every other character on this um, playbill, because one, I don't even remember who is who, and two, she was just the one that stood out the most. 
Actually, no, there was another character, but I'll get to that character later. But Dina was just hilarious. She was energetic. I felt like she was the one that like stole the show, in my opinion. I thought that she had this like grace, this like, like this, I don't know how to explain it, but she was just so good. Like her singing was amazing. Her acting was amazing. Um, there was this one scene that I was like so tied into and it was so minor like there was a scene where she literally was singing a song while cutting watermelon not only that but like she just psh, 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 and they're all like perfect cuts and like it, it was like a real watermelon with like a real sharp knife I'm just like damn that was impressive then there's this other character and he's like the, this guy that like stands by a telephone pole and he just literally just like, stands there all night long just waiting all night, just waiting for his girlfriend to call. Just, like, just just waiting. But it gets pretty sweet at the end because she ends up calling him, spoiler alert. Um, but like, there's a song called Answer Me. I suggest you guys listen to that song before you go see the musical. It is beautiful. I thought it was sweet. It made me almost cry. Actually, almost made Alexa cry. But anyway, it was a really good show. Overall, I enjoyed the music. I thought some of the characters were funny. I thought they were really talented. Um, although it was kind of hard to understand because of their Arabic or Arabic... Arabic? Their Arabic accents. I think it's Arabic. I could be completely wrong. But like, they're so talented, I thought it was really great, I thought the show was great, I thought the storyline was pretty simple yet amazing, and overall, I enjoyed the music out of everything. So that was my thought on the band's visit, if you guys also saw the show, um, let me know down in the comments below what you thought about it, and like I said earlier, make sure that you guys leave down some suggestions on any other Broadway show that you want me to check out, I'm planning on doing a review for every single Broadway show that I see. When I get a chance. And also guys, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to Cheek Lake Productions and make sure you guys hit the like button and hit the um, notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video comes up. I have another set of videos that I'm planning on doing um, and if I don't post a video, it's probably because I'm starting school and I'm doing school right now. So you're probably going to see it when I'm at the Institute of American Musical Theater. So uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all the time that I have. Your boy needs to get ready for a date. Peace out!